Yeah, med school's like... It's like a tribal experience with its own rules and initiations. But once you find your own path, it gets easier. In what way? Balance. What do you want versus what they want? Finding a balance is the key. Mm. So what have you been up to since you got out? Well, lots of travelling. Southeast Asia, mainly. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Nepal's a blast. Yeah, well, I suppose being a doctor, you can always earn enough to travel. You work, you explore. Balance. You got it. <laughs> hey, why don't you spend some time with me? You know, like, with the patients. See what it's like. I'd love to. Cool. Cool. It's a jealousy out here. Oh, come on, Jonathan. The guy left his last working brain cell halfway up the Himalayas. <sighs> You're just bitter. Bitter? Bitter about what? No, no. There's no need to get bummed out. Just because you didn't have the master to get into med school. Hey, look. You spend all the time in the world with him. Have a real cool time. I'm sure you'll learn heaps. <sighs> so, okay, Damon, we're just shifting you onto the bed, mate. Grubby? Yeah, right here, right here. Joe, where's the doctor? I should be here by now. We've got a probable collapse. It was semi-conscious when we got there. Neuro seems stable, some improvement during transit. Possible fracture of right wrist, no other injuries that I could make out. Hello. Looks like I know who everyone is. Uh, great, this is Jonathan. He's with me today observing. <sighs> Query concussion. And the patient is? Say what? The patient's name. Damon McEwen. Important here to establish a good rapport with the other staff and the patient. Blood sugar 2.1. I've given him IV bolus 50% dextrose. Hello. He's HIV positive and shows some signs of age-related conditions. I'm out of here. Yeah, v. It's a good idea, arriving into a situation like this. Excuse me, doctor. Listen, I need to deal down. with the patient. That's cool. Just giving Jonathan here an outline. Look, this isn't a teaching hospital. Come on, Jonathan, you have to leave. Dad gave us permission. Well, I'm sorry. That just ended. Yeah, the main problem was your blood sugar level. Very low. Now, have you been eating? You know, like regular meals? Not really. Got to keep your strength up, man. Yeah, it was stupid, I know. <coughs> Get yourself a couple of days bed rest. You'll be cool. Thanks, Doctor. Anytime, Damien, you just hit that buzzer. Damon. Sorry? His name is Damon. All right. Sorry, Damon. Hey, have you repeated a T4 count? This says here we did one last week. Well, aren't you going to do another one? I don't feel a need, do you? Well, you could do one just to be sure. Possibly. But although it was low, it wasn't, you know, that low. Well, have you prescribed any prophylactic antibiotics? I ain't no need to go in with the heavy artillery just yet, eh? How are you feeling? Like a strong martini. That guy's stronger. The 80s were good to him, that's all. You deserve better. I haven't got both feet in the grave yet. Yeah, I know, I know. One foot, okay. Seven toes. <coughs> Whatever. Hey, look, I'll have a ring around and get some of the gang in, eh? Yeah. Yeah, play the violins and get them in here. <laughs> okay. Cute guy, but he worries too much. Hey, where the hell do you get off? I suppose he's still a bit upset about this morning. Great supposing, Jamie, world class. I was there to watch and learn. You threw me out. Yeah, well, uh, nothing personal, eh? You're a liar. Well, it's going to take a lot more than watching for you to learn any sense of compassion, Jonathan. You are so smug. You think you've got a monopoly on caring, don't you? Maybe it's because you're so needy yourself. Hey, party. Pikers. Yeah. Been to everyone so far. But you're probably going to have to wheel me in. How are you feeling, Damon? Uh, OK, apart from the coughing. Mm, I think we should send some sputum off for testing. Mm, sounds romantic. How's the temperature? It's up a bit. I'll get Dr. Elton Jones. Oh, why bother? The guy's a waste of space. That's OK, Jamie. Hey, half a tick. Excuse me, Dr. McKenna. Yeah? We have a, uh, a patient in an emergency case with AIDS-related conditions. And uh, the new doctor, Hilton Jones, is making a total hash of things. I beg your pardon? He's not covering routine pathology. He's completely unprofessional. What makes you think you're qualified to judge a doctor's abilities? He knows the patient is HIV positive, yet he hasn't repeated the T4 count. Damon is immunosuppressed, vulnerable to any hospital infection going. Yet Dr. Hilton Jones refuses to administer any antibiotics. Now the patient's temperature is up, and he has a productive cough, which the doctor in charge has failed to notice. I apologise if I'm unqualified to judge his abilities. 